sometime. Somehow, we will be punished. Punished? I have come here today to tell you how I perceive the path of the light. So, everyone has their own way of perceiving each of the paths. So, not only are there many paths, but there are many branches of each path because every one person is different. Everybody perceives each path differently, so each path will be different for each individual. So, this is how I perceive the path of the light. The path of the light seems to teach ego death. Or not teach it, but they seem to chase ego death more often than not. They tend to think that the ego is the source of all evil and it's the source of all of our misfortunes and it could be true, but it's also not. We sort of need our ego, even though our ego is what makes us dwell on things and which is what makes us have boundaries, basically. So our ego is what gives us boundaries and since we have boundaries with one another, we don't treat each other how we should treat each other. We treat each other as foreign entities when we should be treating each other as ourselves, like how we would want to be treated. Because that's the reason why people say, like, treat others how you would want to be treated, because not only is it a karma thing, so, like, what you put out into the world comes back to you, but it's also that these people are, like, an extension of yourself. So a few dimensions up, if you subscribe to this belief, you are in a sense, God, or God is everything in this reality. So every conscious being or every living thing is God. So since you're God and everything else that you interact with is God, you should just treat them as you would want to be treated because they're literally you. So while ego death may not be wrong, I just don't see it as the way because how I see it, is that the ego is how we navigate this reality. It's how we experience it. Without the ego, there'd practically be no point to this reality because we'd already have the knowledge that we'd have a few dimensions up. So I guess you could say that I believe that those who... Those that seek out ego death and believe that they've attained it merely have an ego that's tricking itself into believing that it's spiritual. And there's really no problem with that because everybody's path is their own. If they believe that they're spiritual and they're pursuing a better life and bettering themselves, then by all means, they're probably spiritual already. Like, their ego may be tricking them into thinking that they're spiritual, but while they've tricked themselves, they become spiritual in the process. But it is pretty obvious who has tricked themselves because they'd say... No matter what, you'd have to attain ego death, and they'd judge you if you haven't attained ego death, or if you have, but you've decided that ego death isn't for you. Because how I see it is that everyone's path is different. Everyone will do things their own way. Whatever works for them will work for them. Whatever works for you works for you. It doesn't necessarily work for everyone else. So just know that while they may be putting you down for not believing in ego death or not wanting an ego death, just know that their heart is in the right place even though their actions don't seem to show that they're still trying their hardest (laughs) like I said they're still their ego they've just tricked themselves into thinking that they're spiritual but since they're trying that's all that really matters those that follow the light also tend to have an aversion to the darkness whether it be a fear or a hatred of sorts it's weird they say that they don't believe in hatred but they're averted to darkness in such a way that the only way i can explain it is hate because they just want darkness to be gone from this world but in all honesty you can't have light without darkness so while i do know what they stand for what the light pushes is just love and acceptance and just having everyone belong i just know that the light can be corrupted if it goes that way for too far too long anything can honestly become corrupted by man that's why we got to be careful like influence is pretty easy to like spot in most things from spirituality to religion but in all honesty what matters is the individual so long as they believe what they're doing is good that should be what matters but in all honesty It's not all that we have to take into account anymore. 
like those that set up or those that lead spiritual communities and religious communities and even society in general like politics those that lead seem to hold too much power and influence over those that they lead the individual has seemed to have forgotten their individuality they no longer seem to think for themselves and seem to think that anything that goes against the societal norms like everything that they've been taught their entire lives is a threat and there's no problem with that humans are tribal after all the problem comes in the fact that they don't really want to take in any outside views like they don't really care what others think and that's where all the infighting comes from like all this political fighting that we have it's so stupid if they would just listen to each other then we would get all of our problems solved but nobody wants to listen anymore everyone just wants to be right and since individuals choose to be ignorant of others beliefs and they just want to be right all the time it's created a situation where a majority of people are now in the wrong like everybody's become a horrible person and that's not to fault them for trying everyone is trying their hardest but they just need to take a step back and remember that we're all human and try to collaborate with one another i believe that a change can occur and it will occur soon in the future but it is going to take some time humans are going to need to see what their actions are doing right now and they're going to have to come to an understanding that if they don't listen to one another they won't be able to collaborate and they have to understand that once they're able to collaborate that's when they're able to make a change because the power that we have above our individual powers is the power of the collective nothing in this world would have happened if we didn't collectively decide that it would happen and in the future that's how it has to be too we have to collectively decide on things we can't just have governments or political leaders to make decisions for us because we don't even know if they're making the right choices we have to decide as a group we have to collectively decide and i'm honestly the worst at this whenever people don't give me the time of day i just tend to give it right back to them like if they don't care about my views i just say all right i don't care about your views then like i'll give them the benefit of the doubt for a little while but then if i start to notice that they're just going for low blows and not even using any facts and they're just like saying the same things over and over again and they start calling me names then I'll just be like, you know what, fuck it, you can't change. Like, why bother trying to change you? I shouldn't have tried to change them. Like, in all honesty, I shouldn't have tried to change them. I should have just put my opinion out there, which it did start off as. It always starts off as, like, putting your opinion out there. That's why these situations are so hard. And that's why I need to talk about them, because I've experienced it firsthand. I tried to put my personal opinion out there like that's all it is it's an opinion i'm not even saying that everyone should do it i'm just saying what i believe everyone should do i'm not saying everyone should do it i'm just saying that that's my belief in how we could fix things it always goes south first they chime in with saying like oh i bet you support trump and then i say i guess you could say that but this has nothing to do with politics if you had read my post and then it keeps devolving until it gets to a point where I just don't really want to care anymore because they've twisted my words to a point where I just don't care. Like, why bother trying with these people? And I honestly need to work on that. I need to remember that they're human and I'm human. Like, I make mistakes. Other people make mistakes. Everyone has their points of view, and obviously not everyone is going to share the same point of view as I do. But it's just so hard when it just seems like nobody wants to work with you. Like, I get that they don't have the same point of view as I do, which is why I want people to come to an understanding about this. Like, you don't have to share the same points of view. But at least put your opinion out there. Don't just name call. Put your opinion out there. And if you 
decide that you don't want to listen to someone's opinion on your opinion on things, then all you have to do is not listen to their opinions. And <laughs> I say that, but I also have that issue. I All I have to do is not read it. And I admit that I am getting better at that. I now turn off my notifications on Facebook. And that has helped a lot. And when I do s open my notifications... I scroll down the things that I think would be controversial because I know I don't want to dig myself into a deeper hole because I know what they could do to me. They've gotten me suspended multiple times, so I know that if I give them ammo, it'll only be worse for me. So it's best to just put my opinion out there, and then if people are negative about it, just let them be negative because that's on them. If I respond with negativity then that'll only bring negativity into my life. And that's what I want to share with everyone. Like, putting out negativity in response to negativity will bring you negativity. But ignoring it altogether... Well, now that can only help you.